I will be talking with Jacob's Pillow archivist Norton Owen and Sean Gallagher about Joseph Pilates history and connection with the Jacob's Pillow Dance Festival. This is day 25. There we, there we go. go. Hey, Norton. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, look, we both have like bald heads. It's good. <laughs> Wait, do I have glasses? Let me see if I can find some glasses. <laughs> if you don't need them, don't use them. That's well, my advice. I, I've been fi- I've been, I just turned 64 and I'm still fighting. <laughs> it's really small. I gotta, I gotta get the reading ones, but I yeah, can still yeah. do pretty much everything else. So I'm, I'm okay so far. That's good to know. <laughs> All and right, I, we're just letting people join us here. That's good. Yeah. And as you can see, yeah. I got Joe Pilates over my shoulder here. Yes. And somebody there said plaid shirts. You both have plaid shirts on. <laughs> yes. We that. got the memo. Yes. Okay, so this is day 25, and we're going to talk about um, Joseph Pilates' connection to um, Jacob's Pillow Dance Festival, and how Sean has has shared the archives, and how that's become, you know, part of a hand-in-hand kind of coordinated effort. So um, as people are joining us, Norton, why don't you take a moment and just tell us um, a little bit about your background and the kind of work that you do there. Absolutely. Thank you, Kathy. Um, Uh I am the director of preservation here at Jacob's Pillow. And um, that is a title that I've held for about 30 years. But I've actually been here for more than that. Uh, I first came here in 1976 as a student. So this past summer was my 45th season here. Um, Wow. so you've been there half the time. It's, this this season is ninety. So you're there like half the time it was open. Impressive. That that is correct, Sean. Wow. I have I have just reached that um, that milestone, and uh, I was always interested in in the pillows history and uh, worked here in a lot of different capacities, um, but this role as director of preservation, which is in other institutions might be called an archivist. I, you know, I deal with the yeah. archives. I, I do um, exhibits. I coordinate talks, all kinds of audience engagement things, but basically anything that has to do with the history of Jacob Spillow, okay. I'm on it. Okay. And of course, germane to our conversation today, that mm-hmm. um, that includes Joseph Pilates and his history with the pillow. And, you know, because my role here is to amplify anything and everything that has to do with our past, of course, we are mostly, uh, we're mostly known as a dance festival um, uh, that has presented dance here um, at this location in the Berkshires since 1933. So um, uh, the, the... you know, anything that we can, anything that I can do uh, to bring out that history and somehow um, make that come alive for people in the present, that's what I'm longing to do. Okay. And so the archives include um, books, letters, uh, photographs, I'm sure scrapbooks, um, film, recordings, the whole gamut. All of the above. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Did she miss anything? I, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I think that seems it's it's very all inclusive and yes. as a and it's the history was, of of the pillow, but also yeah. the performers there, the the events that you've had, and, absolutely, the teachers, yeah. everything. As, yeah, absolutely. I was just as a for instance, I was just writing an acknowledgement letter because someone who used to be connected with the pillow just gave us a. Um, it's a silver mylar balloon, but it was used in a Merce Cunningham dance. He made a piece called Rainforest, which included these silver mylar balloons that would sort of float around the stage while uh, yeah. the performers were on stage. And this particular one was signed by Merce Cunningham. And wow. so, you know, we don't usually collect set pieces per se, but, you know, what, for something yeah. like this, by all means, you know, yeah. um, and uh, and so cool. 
yes, that's an example of something that is a piece of a set um, that relates right. to an artist who has performed here at the Pillow, and that's yeah, part and it's of our flat. So it's yes. flat, so you can store exactly. it easily. <laughs> Most importantly, do we have oh. room? Yes. Right. <laughs> Well, you, you so, expanded in the basement, so now you have a lot more room than you first when, when I first met you. Oh, uh, we have yeah. a lot. Yes, ever expanding room, but you know just how it is at your home with closets and basements and attic spaces and whatever. However much space you have, what you know your your stuff will expand to fill expand. that space. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I at the house in Beckett, I have a stairwell full of boxes. <laughs> you know, so yes. Yeah, <laughs> it just expands. All right, yeah. well, so um, Norton, can you tell us how you first made the connection between um, Jacob's Pillow and Joseph Pilates? How did you first realize that that was a significant connection? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say it's an, it's an evolving relationship in a sense because um, I, I knew, you know, I would come across the name you know, pretty soon after uh, I started working with all of our stuff here, but the but mm -hmm. the importance of that, um, had, you know, that is what has really changed over time. I would say, um, you know, just to find his name in a program or whatever, you'd think, okay, well, yeah. you know, there there are gazillions of people who have been here. Okay, that's a name I've heard, whatever, but. Yeah. Um, but of course, as as the Pilates um, reputation and uh, the following for Pilates work has expanded, that relationship has become all the more important. And mm -hmm. I would say it's probably been, oh, I don't know, in over the past 20 years or so has been when it has expanded. Um, well, how long have you and Sean been working together? Well, that's a that's a question. I think that it came about when um, Sean, when I first became aware of you, was when you were at at Purchase, yeah. and um, that would have been uh, starting around nineteen. I mean, when I was aware was starting around nineteen ninety. It was when I was with the Lamone Foundation, and we used to do our summer residencies at Purchase. And um, and you had a studio there, right? I, I was running the Pilates studio there, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it was open to anybody that came through. They could come and use it, dancers if they wanted. You know, it was available for that. Mm -hmm. And you know, and so you were aware of me, but I wasn't really aware of you <laughs> until <laughs> in, until like 1997, because I think it was 97. Might have been the year before. It was either 96 or 97, because I bought mm -hmm. the property in 97. But I brought the property because you told me it was there and it's and for sale. Th right. And, you know, this is one of those things about like, it just shows you the importance of like who you know and like who is in your, um, uh, you know, who's in your consciousness that and making those connections. Because um, I became aware that the, that the Pilates property was for sale and and it was for sale for a while. I mean, I yeah, I it, it was it was on the market for three years before yeah. I purchased wow. it. Yeah. But you knew that it had been Joseph Pilates' property. I did. Um, and so that you know, was kind I, of common knowledge. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I get, again, I think it was. It's a factor of common knowledge, but does that matter? You know, like right. okay, you know, like what was the yeah. importance of that and yeah. and you know it was so it was really only because i knew sean and knew his connection to pilates that then mm -hmm. and i i believe if if you know memory serves and of course we're talking 25 years ago so does it serve <laughs> or not but uh if memory serves i think that there was somebody um you know the real estate agent or somebody contacted me saying you know don't you know of anybody who would care that this place was connected to pilates mm -hmm. and um at that point 
you know, the the person who I knew of who uh, had an interest was Sean. And so I uh, I got in touch and, you know. Well, I think it was more that I came to you with the archives <laughs> from Ted. Remember, I had the archives. <laughs> I had archives of Ted. I wasn't anything. And I was like, I can share these with you. Oh, I just froze. You yeah. Guys, oh, there you are. You're, You're back. back. That's yeah. my that's my recollection. As I yeah. came up to you and I, I brought I, I brought the archives and was you know I have all this stuff of Ted and if you have anything because I that's when I was really trying to put things together and but then you were like well you know his property's for sale and I'm like no yeah and you're like yes and, I, and, and and you know it has all the equipment so I asked yeah. you if you would you know I you said you knew the realtor so I said if you can connect me and you did. And then I went yeah. over and I looked at the property and I said to the realtor, I said, you know, I'm not really interested in the property, but I'll buy the equipment. <laughs> you know, and I try to do that with a, you know, a, a straight face, you know, not like, oh my God, I, you know, like, you know, Joe's the mother, equipment. You'd hit the mother load. <laughs> yes. And then he came back and he said, the owner said, if you want, if you want the equipment, you have to buy the property. Yeah. So. I offered him a, you know, it had been on the market for three years. They were asking a certain price. I offered him a, a substantially lower, uh, you know, price. It was, I guess, when I when I got the records, it was about what he had paid for it. You know, when he bought what? it, I forget yeah. how many years before. So he didn't really make any money, yeah. but he did because he ended up carrying the the mortgage instead of the bank. So he made the interest. So and that was back when it was like I think it was still seven percent or six percent. People mm -hmm. aren't used to that anymore. But back then, it was still yeah. pretty. You know, yeah. You know, it was still fairly high. Yeah. And, you know, and, uh, so, and, and Sean, in, in hindsight, I'm 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 happy I did that because yeah, if I hadn't have bought it. Most likely, somebody else had bought it. That all that stuff would have just been thrown away, and that those buildings yeah. would have been torn down, and because they yeah. were in such disrepair by the time I got it, even. Well, yeah. it's just it's, it's just, just really a lesson that you know that that things have value because they are valued by other people. You know, they they don't necessarily have intrinsic value. They have yeah. value because somebody you know because of somebody like you who yes. values it for other right. people it'd be like what's all this junk let's get rid of right. this you know yeah. yeah you know you know yeah. the, you know that, that that advertisement call mr junk or whatever and point to it and we'll get rid of it because that's what they would have done yeah mm -hmm. so let's um let me interrupt here briefly and <laughs> let people know so um joe died in 1967 the property uh, stayed with Clara. I believe she sold it in 1969 and she sold it to a couple who didn't seem to do too much with it, who sold it to another couple. And that's who you bought it from, Sean. So there was only two other owners in between you and Joe and Clara. So I wanted to, to clear that up. And Sean, your signal keeps breaking up, by the way. So I um yeah, so yeah. that property just really sat there. The people that, both couples that owned it just never fully utilized it, which well, thank I, goodness I, because they would have cleaned stuff out. Yeah, they must have had, all I can say is they must have had some appreciation or awareness uh, for what existed there because they didn't throw it out. You know, like right. they did, they, right, they, back. Yeah. Yay. Welcome back. Um, you know, yes. uh, you know, thank goodness that that even if it was a base level awareness that they yeah. that they didn't go, let's get rid of all this junk. Uh, right. You know, who cares? They they clearly had some awareness that it was important or that it should be preserved. Well, yeah. I believe that the people who bought it from Clara were clients at one point uh -huh. okay. so I, and they, you know and then so they they did it and they built um you know a, a house in the 70s you know and and then the 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 couple that bought it afterwards were from long island great neck i believe mm -hmm. um and they weren't connected to pilates but by that time you know those the, the, the studio and the house had just been shut and left and and they yeah. had plans like they get, you know, they gave me blueprints. They were going to put a pool in. They were going to do all these things. And then she ended up getting sick. And so yeah. they couldn't do that. So that, you know, that, that, that retirement dream sort of that, that dissipated. 
you know, and if they did, they probably would have torn, you know, they very well may yeah. have torn those buildings down and gotten rid of them at the time, but they didn't, yeah. you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that she got sick and that happened, but right. when you talk about history, you know, all sorts of things happen to allow the next thing to happen. And, and you know, yeah. luckily we now have, you know, the studio is pretty much rebuilt, uh, you know, not rebuilt, yeah. but re reconditioned back to, you know, right. a, a working well, I studio. Think that's, I think that might be tomorrow's conversation. Yes. It is, but you know, I'm just letting you know that's yeah. part of where it was. Yeah. Um, it was so meant to be. it was meant to be. So, Sean, when did you start? Um, so you had that connection. You went to Norton and you said, "I've got these items, letters, and whatnot from Ted Sean, who was the original creator of Jacob's Pillow." We should right. also say that for those right. that aren't aware, yeah. it was Ted Sean's um, dream dream his plan to build the summer camp so so you had correspondence between ted sean and joe well and wasn't really correspondence was it was really it was video okay and pictures and so okay. there's there's a, there's a whole uh you know photo shoot that was i think done at the same time as the video okay you know, so it was broken down so there's the video of ted and and, and sean and barton his partner Mm -hmm. And the, and the pictures as well. And there's there was a fair amount, you know, there was, a, a, I think, two reels for the picture. And then I forget how long the, the video was. You know, okay. so that was my thing. I loan, you know, I was like, I'll loan this to the pillow so that people who come can watch it and see it and see what it's about in relationship to Ted and, and Pilates and all that stuff. Because I think that's important. I thought that was important. You know, and then when I was and there, you know, is, still, I found is that, that stuff that still there? Important. Yes. Yes. There's, you know, okay. I, they have a copy of everything. So, yeah. Yeah, what okay. what Sean has done, which I think is just terrific, is uh, you know to allow us to essentially be uh, you know a kind of a, a, an access point, let's say, because mm -hmm. um, you know uh, in, in Sean obviously doesn't want to be the person who uh, every time somebody wants to see something, you know, they call him up individually or or deal yeah. with it, you know, and, and right. we right. we are set up as a research facility. And right. so under, you know, under certain, um, you know, uh, guidelines, Arrangement. Yeah, yeah, we are able to share those things. And, you know, what's great is whenever we do the Pilates at the Pillow programs, that's part of mm -hmm. what the, the participants are able to do here is to actually access yeah. these uh, materials and you know, and feel yeah. like, you know, what, that's one of the things that we really value at, at Jacob's Pillow is recognizing that we are one of the very few places, um, maybe the only one at this point, where, uh, you know, aside from Sean's place, but that's a private institution, but yeah. like where somebody who is interested in Pilates, if they want to sort of walk in his footsteps if they want yeah. to be in a place where he worked and uh, where you can see photographs and things that are yeah. show him in this place. This is a place where you can do that. And so Joe taught, he taught, um, we believe uh, maybe, well, we think he trained Ted Sean starting in 1939 Mm -hmm. And that he taught at the pillow maybe unofficially at first, like 1941, 40, yeah. 41. And then he yeah. taught for several summers um, until 47. Am I right? There was a break around 47, but then he came back and, right. and continued into the 1950s. Yes. And he taught daily mat classes to the dancers in training. Yeah. And, you at know. 8 a.m., right? At, Right. And as far as we can uh, determine, and, and Kathy, you probably know more about this as, as well, but I mean, it seems that it was here uh, that he really developed that, you know, the idea of the mat class, because of course, when he was teaching in New York, it was one on one. It was, it was right. not, it was not for a group. He was you know, right. hands on with individuals. And it was only when he started, you know, his involvement with Jacob Spillow that suddenly you've got a whole, you know, studio yeah. full of people and you have to figure yeah. out a way to impart that information to them as a group. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so Sean, or I have something. Uh, 
Go ahead. Yes. Yes. Right. How okay, beautiful so upon beautiful the mountain. Beautiful upon the mountain. Yeah. Yep. So and 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 in the back, it, it, the back is it's not connected, but in the back there's this. Jacob's pillow. 1947. Jacob's pillow, <laughs> University of Dance and Dance Festival Theater, faculty and festival programs. 1946 through 1950. And so mm -hmm. Joe is not here in 47. I don't see him, but in 48, he is. And yeah. he teaches body conditioning. For preparatory course, Joseph Pilates Body Conditioning, Carolyn Valley Fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And yep. then let me see. For yeah, he 40... did not call his classes Pilates classes. Right. And then 49, yeah. he's in here too somewhere. I have to find him. Yeah. yeah. So it may so, just have been the summer of 47 that he was away. He and Sean, had, Sean um, Ted Sean, not Sean Gallagher, uh, he uh -huh. and Ted Sean had a falling out in 47. Um, right. But that seems to have been um, short-lived, you know, that, right. that, yeah. uh, that he came back. I do want to say that Joe had taught, we believe that he taught Matt classes back during the, the war when he was mm -hmm. interned at Camp Nakalo mm -hmm. in England. Mm -hmm. But there doesn't seem to be any evidence of anything in between. Yeah. Well, yeah. and he also, in some of his writings, he says that he, he developed the mat work in 1902. Yes, before he went to the camp, he right. had developed so the he mat work. He, that he claims that, and it's in writing. So, But yeah. he, he fine-tuned it, and you know what we know at the pillow is that that's closer to what was in his Return to Life book that was published in 45. So I think that's yes. what Gordon's talking about. It's like putting together, realizing, you know, it's time to have a book for that. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's got yep. an original. Yep. Is that 1960 or 45? I think that's 60. Um, I will tell you, this is 19, well, it says 1960. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the, it's the reprint okay. yeah, from yeah. 1960. Mm -hmm. Okay, but little, still. Little, slight differences from the original 45. He fixed a few things and he left mm -hmm. a few things that were you know, wrong on both. Confusing. So. <laughs> yes. So, yeah. Sean, just, when did you start teaching the mat classes at the Pillow? Well, you know, I connected with Norton in 97 and I bought the house. So, so then I was there and I offered and they, you know, with because the, the school, you know, they have a summer program, which is, mm -hmm. you know, there, there's different sections at the Pillow. Different people run different things. So Norton is the archivist or, or preservationist. <laughs> and J.R. Glover was, was the, you know, is the person who's been there as long as I've been there uh, for the education as well. And she's the one who first hired me. Now they've split that. And now there's community development with, with, um, Tasha, uh, Tasha Giles. Yeah. yeah Tasha mm -hmm. Giles. And okay. she, um, is the one that now brings me in. I haven't been there for two years because of the pandemic. I'm hoping I can come back. I was yeah. there for 20 he years. Hopes I, was so too. For, I was there for 20 years. So okay. you know, now I have a, now I have a history. <laughs> yes. Lo longer than Joe's. And you know, I would every, every, um, you, it was one day a week and it was usually Mondays. I would teach mm -hmm. Pilates Matt. And then there was other teacher, Jennifer, uh, uh, who's your archivist again? Uh, uh, video, video. Oh, Nell Shelby. No, Nell, Nell Shelby. She trained with oh, us. Yeah. So she would teach. They would have it twice know. a week. I would teach Monday, and she would probably teach Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. And they okay. have other classes as well. So they have dance classes. They have different, you know, community classes that, you know, they charge a, a you know, I think it's like ten dollars for a class, which is, mm -hmm. you know, very inexpensive. Yeah. And it was less than that before, you know, when I first yeah. started. But I think the last yeah. time I was ten dollars. And, you know, we do it in the Rue Saint Denis building, which is a studio that's probably. 20 by 30 or something. So I can usually fit about 25 to 30 people there and then it gets too crowded. And, yeah. you know, during the summers in the beginning, it's, you know, the first week is always the uh, interns and they all come and I challenge them because I'm like, okay, you guys come <laughs> the first week. You got to come every week because Monday's their day off. So they don't really, I have one or two that usually <laughs> stays and the rest of them don't. And then, you know, by, but by July, it's, it's usually full, you know, every day, yeah. every time. So yep. it's, and it's been, and that's been every year and I've been, you know, it's been great. Yeah, I've taken that class a couple times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's neat to take the Pilates mat class right. Um, right there in the historical place where Joe taught yeah. Pilates and, mat classes. Yeah, and one of the things that I, you know, almost from the beginning, I would always talk to JR wanting to do something. We Now we have Pilates at the pillow. And the issue always was that, you know, now the pillow is trying to be year round. But back then it was really just the summer. And they uh -huh. didn't have housing. They didn't have any housing. Yeah. So there was like no way to do that. And then was it three or I guess four years ago? 
Yeah. You built the housing. So they built housing now that can hold 45. And then they have another building that we can put another five in. So we can have 40 politicians yeah. from around the world come in. And they also built a, a, an amazing new um, uh, dance the space. Mm -hmm. What's the, it's, mm -hmm. it's the Perla Studio. Perla, Perla Studio. Mm -hmm. And it has, you know, skylights and window doors all. I mean, it's, I mean, it's, it's an yeah. amazing space for, for movement. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, you know, we, we use that for the weekend and we come up and we've done, I've, uh, you know, all sorts of different, we've done three so far. We have once ho hopefully in April looks that way. Yep. So, you know, we're having a meeting next week to talk about all that and bring, and then also for next fall as well. Yeah. So we're finally able to bring Joe's dream back alive, which was to be able to, not only teach and practice, but also, you know, as far as working out, but also start, he wanted to have a school. That was his, because yeah. I, I mean, he originally, he wanted to have like a health spa and a thing like that. I, I, if I remember correctly, he tried to talk Ted into closing the dance part and just doing the whole, you know, physical, <laughs> yeah. cult, physical culture thing. That was one of the reasons they had a falling out. Right. You know, because, uh, yep. you know, Sean felt that Pilates was trying to boss him around. And, um, you know, and Sean was in charge and he didn't like I, I believe. Well, and, and, and so I what, believe happened, what happened, right, is that that happened. So then Joe went around the corner and bought 52 acres. Yeah. And started <laughs> but, his own. And then they could be friends again because he wasn't happy. You know, it's like, OK, now I got my yeah. own place. <laughs> I believe the expression that Ted Sean said in in his in his memoir was the German in him became too much for me. <laughs> yeah, that's I've it. I've never forgotten that. You, yeah, yeah, Jordan, you shared that with us. Yeah, yeah, the German no, in him. Right. <laughs> and yeah. then you know, Norton, you, you know, the pillow did a retrospective of Joe about how, how long that was like 10 years ago it was probably? about 10 years ago you know yeah. what 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 i recognized at that point was there were there were a number of people who were still alive um who had studied personally yeah. with, with pilates and of course there still are at this point uh mm -hmm. although you know with each passing year we yes. we, we lose we lose we so right but yeah. uh, but amazingly, of course, uh, one of the people that we had at that. So we we did a pillow talk, um, you know, part of our lecture series where we invited as many people as we could locate. Mm -hmm. Of course, many of them were, you know, in distant places and couldn't be here. But a lot of them <laughs> memories that we could read or, you know, other things, because mm -hmm. we were really trying to it occurred to me we need to like document this and 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 make sure that whatever memories are still around get preserved in some way so um you know one of the people that we had who uh who is still around uh is ann hutchinson guest she's 103 Hello. years old she and, um yeah. she studied with joe pilates in starting in 1941 and 42 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She has very clear memories of what mm -hmm. she did with him and tells great stories about that. So that just goes to show what Pilates can do for your longevity. Um, yeah. But, you know, it was really, uh, for me, it was, it was really fulfilling that we were able to capture this kind of documentation. Yeah. And, um, and no, yeah, and know that, that some of the people that we got on camera at that point um, are no longer with us, and what yeah. would have happened to these memories if we hadn't yeah. made a point? Well, of, it's part of Joe's legacy. I'm going to yeah. make a suggestion, Norton. Yes, sir. And the suggestion is, if you still have a list of people, and you know there are still people who study there, are still alive, and study with Joe, we should do Zoom recordings, even because if they're far away. Now we're, we're I know you're set up. We're set yeah. up. We can do something like that. Maybe yeah. we can do. Maybe we can do something this summer. Yeah, or that, I know your your schedule is way out, so maybe next time. <laughs> but you know, yeah. at but some don't point, put it know, off too long. Right. No, but, I'm just gonna say, saying, don't so, wait. You know, you know, I mean, maybe you know, if you know, I, and I'm willing to work with you to do that to find the people yeah. and, and interview them, and 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 I'm sure Kathy would and, and Elaine. You know, we'd love to be able to yeah. find these people and and have a yeah. a, a, a repository of of information for, and their histories. That would be great. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah. I'll talk to you about so, that later. We'll so, Norton, that. people can go to the Jacobs Pillow website, and can they find some of those recordings on the website? 
No, we don't. We don't make record. Well, they can. One thing is available. Uh, actually, it's on YouTube. Um, right. Okay. But, you know, so if you Google, Sean, Laura, you were you were a part of that, right? You yeah, were there. I was a part right. of it. Yeah. And, I, and, and I have to admit, I, I, I said a few things that I had been told by my teachers that we since then, because of everybody doing research, we found some of those are no longer necessarily correct. Ah, OK. You know, as far well, as some of the things that, you know, Joe said or people said about Joe that he did, I repeated it. And now yeah. there's more research. And now we're finding out that some of that was not necessarily, you know, like. You know, uh, he he's not descendant of Pontius Pilate. You know, I mean, things like that. <laughs> yeah, certain things like that. Well, yeah. these, this is this is how um, you know research gets done and how information yeah. develops, and this is all a good thing. You know, this yeah. this wouldn't be happening if we didn't have, you know, uh, an active Pilates community that clearly, you know, you're doing your part in making that um, a thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you know, that's what we're doing. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, bring back, you know, the, the, the history as best as clear as possible. And, mm -hmm. you know, I know, and I, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen it, but Elaine, who, who also is part of this, this yes. 30 and 30, she has, she's, you know, found so many different things out there in her research and she's provided, mm -hmm. you know, that she has an Instagram page that has the articles and all sorts of things that are available for everybody to go and look at. And, and it's, you know, that that's the difference. And, you know, and all of a sudden you'll hear somebody go, oh, I, I didn't notice that in that picture, <laughs> you know. And so little things come out from yeah. just all this history that people used to just, you know, brush right past. And now they're, mm -hmm. you know, all the nerds are all the, the history nerds are coming out. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. hear it for history nerds. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're all about it. Yeah. Well, so Norton, you have the 90th summer, 90th year coming up. Yeah, this is this is our when 90th season. Start? You know, if, of course, there are always things. You know, we're all we always have one one eye looking back and one eye looking forward in a sense yeah. because you know because both are really that's what makes this place tick. You know, people mm -hmm. of course they come for whatever what's going on in the moment. You know, like who's performing. You know, who's teaching class. Yeah. All of that is really exciting. But the fact that it is happening with within this place that holds so much history mm -hmm. is what makes it special, you know, yeah. uh, and and we really try to keep both of those things in focus at all times, because that's what that's that's where the power is. You know, that's mm -hmm. where people can really feel plugged in and where they can feel like all that has gone on in the past mm -hmm. is is accessible to them in some way right. well, so when does the season start we start on june 18th this is our first okay. performance and you know a big thing this summer will be the reopening of the ted sean theater which has been uh closed for the last two summers um in well, you know both because of the uh of the pandemic but um part of what happened during that time was uh a a project that we had already planned, but we have been, you know, well, we are still involved in a $9 million um, restoration of the Ted oh. Theater, which okay. is building up an entirely new stage house and adding for the first time a an air conditioning system. So uh, people who are familiar with the theater and feeling like they were gonna suffocate in there and thinking, well, I'm not gonna go in there during COVID times, um, you know, will be really delighted to hear that, you know, there's a really robust ventilation system now. And, yeah. and so that we can um, plan a season for 2022 that will, you know, from, uh, yeah, other than the ventilation thing, we'll feel very much like what it's always felt like. The the okay. audience portion of the theater is remaining exactly as was, except okay. for the ventilation. The mm -hmm. stage, you know, from the proscenium back uh, is all being replaced. And uh, that is for safety reasons, for you know, bringing us up to code, all kinds of yeah. things. And yeah. a little bit of space on the side, so you're not like 
Yes. Program. How about yes, that? I, I know yes, that. <laughs> we will. We will have you know, that. I've, I've, I've done therapy back, you know, there for a number of different companies and performers. And I, mm-hmm. I know that there is it's a tight space. You know, <laughs> you, you know, you go to, you know, New York City Ballet or, the, you know, other big theaters in New York. And they're like the, the wing space is huge. And then you get in there. Oh. and It's just like, let me just squeeze by. I remember, yeah. you know, with the Paul Taylor Company, people would be like, oh, my God, there's no room to do anything. Yeah. I like to sit in the wings and watch. And I can't do yeah. that there. Well, yeah. that that is being alleviated, and uh, yes. Yeah. So, so and, and of course, this is the theater where uh, you know Joseph Pilates actually performed. performed. In the, it, you know, yeah. in 1943. We have the program from yeah. that event uh, because it was during the Second World War. Um, money was really tight. And the way that that Ted Sean um, essentially made a performance program was by relying on the faculty who were here. And, you know, I, uh, Pilates yeah. was on the faculty. So um, yeah. so the idea was, well, OK, you got to pitch in, too. And he right. did. He did, he did. Basically he like a, a lecture demonstration. Yeah. So, so I, I, I want. Can I say one? I want to talk about one couple things yeah. as well. You know, just so people know that the the pillow also last year lost one of their theaters. It burnt down. Mm-hmm. So and then during the pandemic, you know, the, you know, it was a bit, you know, they they make a, like half your money from, you know, having the program, and that you lost that the first year. So one of the things that I did, and the and again, this connection was really great because yes. I went to the Pilates community and and they did we did fundraisers lectures. Mm-hmm. And yep. we raised almost uh, nine thousand dollars to help facil- you know, help you guys out because that was important. It was like that's mm-hmm. a place for Pilates. We should all join in, and and again, every little bit helps. Mm-hmm. And that was something that we tried to do. So that's that relationship that we build in the Pilates yeah. community. I think you know, is more people know about it now than even before because of those things. So it's really great yeah. that it's, you know the mm-hmm. history is really coming back and and people finding these things out and helping out. It was you know, it was really great. So. Everybody here that did help with that, thank you. And if you didn't know, well, now you know. We're so, we're very grateful uh, for that, Sean. And, you know, and really grateful to the entire Pilates community for embracing the pillow and recognizing Mm -hmm. that, um, you know, that your heritage is here. Yeah, it's a special place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, So, Sean, when is the um, Pilates at the Pillow event in April? In April, it is the last weekend of April, so it's the okay. 29th and 30th and the 1st of May. Okay. So that's when that's 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 when it is, and it, in the fall, it'll be like in the middle. I, I think we haven't finalized, but it's probably the second or third weekend of September for the fall okay. one. We do tw- we do two. A, we're trying to we're trying to do. We were doing two a year. Yeah. And we're hoping to go back to two a year. Yeah. Because yep. you know, yep. it's, um, it's we're only, getting it's, comments it's, about. Right. It's How only, awesome it's, that is. Yeah. It's 40, it's only 40 people, you know, it's right. not like this big conference and hundreds of, you know, it's, it's very small and, and, you know, we, we, you know, you people apply and we accept them and, and, you know, we try to do it for a studio teacher so they can find, get the information and experience that. Like we go on the tea garden, we have the head, you know, balancing pieces like Joe did. There's pictures of him doing that with students. Well, mm-hmm. we, we let that happen. We go to the rock, we, you know, and then what we also do is we take, we get a bus and we, we put, you know, you know, the, you know, Pilates at the pillow on the bus and we take the ride from the pillow, you know, that's three minutes away to Joe's property. And we give a tour of yep. that as well. So it's a, it's a mix, you know, it's again, the, the all these connections. Experience. Yeah. And when they're there, when we, and the participants are there, we can stop in and see Norton and yeah. some of the archives. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Well, yeah. usually, you know, we, we, you know, on, on the day that they come, they mm-hmm. come in the afternoon. So part of it, what Norton does, you know, is great. It's, he basically opens it up for the whole day. So people can come early, you know, yep. before, the, because we start registering, I think, at four. Mm-hmm. So Norton makes it available, you know, I think it's 11 or, or, or something. I can't remember the date. But, but you know, we'll, it'll all be posted. Yeah. You know, it makes it available and they can come in and they can spend hours there if they want to before mm-hmm. they have to register. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and what my okay. experience usually has been is that people come thinking they're going to spend five or ten minutes here, and then they're like, "Oh my God, there's so much to see!" And you know, like, yeah, and yep. yeah, 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 it really is special. 
Well, so do, so what's next? Are are have we covered everything? I think we have. What's next? It, I mean, you know, what's next is you know continuing. Like you know, maybe we'll do something like with North. I just suggested the North. Maybe we can do another yes. talk at some point. I mean, yeah. you know, there, there, I think as you know, as we move forward, and hopefully I can go back to teaching, and you know, we'll be doing the pillow. So you know that that connection is going to be very, you know, again, you know, strengthen it more because one of the things that I'm doing is also going to be rebuilding the the, ha the house now. I mean, the studio is done now. You know, the house is much more difficult because it has to be a total rebuild, and then yeah. I have to go to the town, and there's legal stuff, and and fi trying to find a you know a surveyor with the, the way yeah. the market's been, you know, it's like there's, they're a year out. So it's like taking forever, but yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the goal. And then, you know, okay. making those connections. Mm -hmm. Thanks Norton. All right. Yeah. Really appreciate you coming on and, and helping, you know, yeah. provide the, the, your history and Joe's history at the pillow for everybody. It's really great. It's really another dimension for people to, to learn about. Yeah. So thank you, Norton. Absolutely. Yeah. My pleasure. Thanks. Come one, come all. <laughs> okay so we'll be talking right. to you soon about april and try you know organizing yeah. the times and all that stuff so we'll be getting in touch with you yeah. soon so thanks again okay yeah. all thanks, right. thanks, thanks everybody thank you, thank you Kathy. Uh, everybody as we wrap up tomorrow is day 26 and there'll be a discussion about um joe's property and i've always called it joe's cottage but um it's had several nicknames so what we do call we, it call the it? we call it the bungalow the bungalow, yes. He called it the bungalow. Right, right. A, so, so that's what we're doing. We're calling it the bungalow. Yep. So and everyone's the studio and the property. Ready? Yep. Yep. Okay, sounds good. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs>